Uh, today I would like to explain you the fault finding of the variable frequency drive uh, 14 kVA. Uh, this is the inlet side connection three phase and this is the outlet side which is connected to the motor. So now you keep the multimeter in the diode mode you can see right now it is an OL then what you do is you have the DC bus you can see the plus and the minus so keep the minus off from the multimeter keep it on the plus then use the plus side you keep it on UVW you should get more or less the same reading I am just keeping on U here you can see 0.3 six zero I change it to V again you're getting point three six zero again keep it on W here you can see again you're getting point three six five nine so more or less all the readings are okay now with the same terminal you check the inlet side now you can see I'm keeping it on L1 you're getting point four 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 then I am keeping an L2 again you are getting 0.44 that means this is ok I am keeping on L3 you can see L3 there is no reading here that means the inlet side is defective now what I do is I change the uh, connection from here I change it and keep it on the other side I keep the minus I change the terminal now I keep the plus in the minus here again I take the reading you can see it should come this is the outlet side attach the U you are getting 0.358 touching V here 0.358 I am touching W here 0.357 ok so this is ok this side I am touching on the other side L1 I am touching L1 here, you are not getting any reading, you are getting OL only. I am touching L2, oh I am getting 0.428. I am touching L3, again you are not getting. So, there is defect in the inlet side of the circuit board. So, what I will do is, I remove the processing, this is the micro switch, where is the computer programming is there, I am removing this. Then, uh, this is the uh, inlet side of the board you can see you can remove this and uh, the defect is in this board only so what you have to check in this board is you have to check the diodes its capacitors all of them so if you check and rectify then you will be able to get the proper signal so this is how you have to identify if you have any doubt regarding this you can message me thank you